And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, to the next exciting episode of Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. Episode 1, part number 3, 4. One of those numbers. Anyways, this is your host with the most nice to you, and we have chosen to come to Toadie's house. And now I'm thinking about it, this is episode number 4, because we've done the intro, and we did the thing with the thing outside, then we talked to Ichabod Crane in the third episode, and oh, there's a guy up there. Hey, hey, hey! Who are you? What are you doing up in the woodsman's place? Wait here. Get that tight. Come up there and chase you. Run, 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 run. And ha! No one's here. There was somebody up there, right? Right? Well, poo. Lost him. Shit. Well, Big B says it more strictly than I do, but yeah, that's not cool. And so I was like, "Is it what's going on up there?" And you were like, "Uh, nothing. I don't know what happened." And she's like, I not go inside now. Sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Uh-oh. There's some sadness going on out there. Oh, you go I do oh no. I don't even remember half of this shit. Oh now we get to reminisce of all the stuff we did with the woodsman here in the apartment. Get that fixed. Alright, well, duh. Jeez, big me, we you and the woodsman gotta add it like crazy go nuts, people. And oh, there's that hole. Yeah, probably not the best idea with Fables fighting like that. That's just bad. Oh, speaking of which, there's a lamp right here. That asshole swings a lamp at a guy. Exactly, Bigby. Who? That's just rude. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. Yeah, reminiscing that we broke his bookcase. Oh well. Like you said, he didn't read much anyway. It's okay. It's fine. Now we come downstairs like so, and we're gonna see Toad because Toad was having a little problem, and we heard his son. Well, he's crying and everything. He's still crying. We gotta investigate. So let's just walk over here, like nonchalantly, and get ready to go in. Is that his son? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank. Oh no! What? What? Be nice in there, okay? Want to be nice? Fine. I'll see what I can do. No promises, though. Hey, Toad. You in there? Here we are, Mr. Toad. The door is open up just easily enough. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Well, yeah, you the one called like you were in a tussy of a fuss and everything. Why are you all Sorry, being quiet like that? It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. A linky drain uh, pipe, yeah, huh? Something ain't right about right this, but now I guess of course I got my choice to say to him here, I'm going to tell him this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Something ain't right here. Something doesn't smell right. And I don't mean because of the toads in the room. He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better so, swimmer than yeah, something ain't right here. I guess dead. toes don't stub their toes and everything. Hey, so that's not right. Now no he's trying to shoot us off. Anymore. Yeah, there is something going on I'm here. Sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I don't think it was nothing. Was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm going to look around a bit before we leave. Yeah, okay. Big B. You, t you do your duty. The longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut. All right, all right. Yeah. Don't want to waste your Throw your weight around, Big B. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. I well, thank you. That's very nice of you, little <sighs> toad. Grown-ups, am I right? And so now we're trying to do the nice thing here and trying to cheer up the little little froggy here, TJ. You know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. Insects. Is it in your room? Oh, I see what she's doing. She's trying to take the little kid out there so I can do my duty. Ha ha ha. Hi, little froggy. Bye bye. And so now, I'll worry. I'll take care of everything. Ha ha ha. Mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, well, let's do some investigating. Like, so, for example, why is this lamp on the floor? Not this happened. Thing must have fell off the table. Uh -huh. I fell off the table, huh? Fell off the 
table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salts. Do you see faffing about? Eh. Uh huh. Well, okay, there is a lie right there. The plant would have been plugged in if it was left. And that two sides were taken. It was over the lock. Yeah, it is. A lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, just like everything else in this bloody building. Okay. Been busted for weeks, you say? Hmm, hmm. I don't like that look you just gave. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Something ain't right here. That lamp's broken. Should have been not broken. The door's busted. And what is this? Blood on the wall. Okay, there is something going on here, Joe. Come on, spill it. Some wood rot. Not mold or anything. That is definitely not wood rot. Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me uh, uh, you can't cut your hand, huh? To pick out a rap. But you have nothing on your hand. There's no cut. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mabberini now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Okay, still so don't buy it. Let's see here. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's take a look at this dust ring. That more blood? No, just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh. Come on now, be honest. I mean, no, no. You're not being honest. We know that is the same shape as that lamp. Do I have to call him out on it? I think I might have to. If you're gonna say something, out with it. So why did you do it, Toad? Why did you move it? Why is it over here and then was it over there? Here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing. Are you sure about that, Toad? I have to be there. Of all the blooming pointless inquiries, it's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Well, I think you do know what happened in it. You're just hiding it from me. It was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you moved it. Ha ha! Got you in a lie, buddy. Bloody hell, mate! Come on, get off with this. Not gonna get off with this, Toad, until I figure out what's going on. And Wait, what was that? That's poker. Let's take a look see at this little poker thing here. And there's blood on it. Uh-huh. Dustin. Oh no. Oh, what happened? What happened? Just fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like the coals and there's still no bloody trail on your foot. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? But now we got you in a little thing here. You said you cut your hand with this sucker. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Aha! Uh -huh. I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first. Told you are a filthy liar. On my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Mm-hmm. Don't buy it. And now, since we got that to look at, let's just take a look, see here. Not make a big faff out of this. Oh, I'm There's making a big faff out of it. To solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. So let's see. We Why do a nice little swing. Whap! That would hurt somebody. I mean, things happen, you know. Yep, you're lying. You're lying again. I can just feel it in my bones. Maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't know yet. <laughs> but I'm Let's not, play along just a little bit. He's like, oh, we know something happened, but I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? Mm -hmm. Just throw on the ground. Just throw, drop it like the mic. Drop it like it's hot. Hey, look at this window. Here's a nice looking window. Let's see, is there anything that we can prove to be. Aha, oh, uh -huh. what is these? Let us open this window right here, shall we? And see what that actually is. And we look see. And what do we find? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I... No, there's marks here on the window. So... Aha, marks. What's that about? It looks like somebody was trying to escape the no, through the window, and they got struck back. Hmm. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> I've forgot the keys to this place. 
You forgot the keys, but you said the door was broken. Another lie, I said. Yeah, because you went through the window, but the door was broken, so you wouldn't need a key. Ha ha! Oh, don't try to change the subject here, mister. I think it's time to uh, call your bluff on all these lies. First, I'll tell that. Uh, talk about this. Which one? Wait a minute. Why'd you climb in through the window? Aha! Uh -huh. Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You He's got. Ready. I got you now, Toad. Now why don't you just tell the truth? Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? It's embarrassing, huh? Third degree and all that. If you were just telling me the truth, we would not have to deal with this embarrassment, now shall we? looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will mm -hmm. you please, please just bugger off? Not gonna bugger off, especially with that attitude. Not yet, you say, for my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I'm gonna leave when I say when I'm gonna leave. You are on trial, little Toad. You're a liar. You're a liar and a thief. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? The truth. I called you on all of your lies, so you're gonna have to tell me the truth here. Made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. Yep. Didn't forget your keys. That's right. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? Caught you in all your lies, Toad. All three. Think, oh. oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Yeah, but there's a little bit of progress. Oh, uh, look at that. There's how getting in there. Something Mr. coming Toad, off his head. You're bleeding. Ha uh ha, -huh, we caught you. Now you're going to blow the bees now, aren't you? Take off the hat. There was somebody here. There was somebody roughing you up, wasn't there? Oh, nice little head wound. It was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. Hey, you, why would you want to do that? Screaming about something the woodsman had, or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. Oh my. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. Well, that makes sense for that. Tell you that. What did you tell him? And what'd you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Oh no, that's not cool. Why would he do that? Coat. Whose coat? coat. What you talking about? Dad borrows things from people who live here. Oh, uh, sometimes. So he steal nothing. He borrows it for a long period of time, huh? We merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll uh -huh. be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Yeah, that's right, Toad. Don't you be all glum about it. We got to take it. Fine bit of dress it is. That was a nice little thing here. Okay, that'd be pretty cool to see him what she had. Nice. Now, what do you got? Oh, it's the donkey skin. I wouldn't wear it outside. Ah, makes sense. It goes to faith that she was the donkey skin girl. Wait. Well, what the heck is that? You see that? It's a note. Let's take a look at it. It's an envelope. Fucking hell. Of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. Ah, uh, of course he wants the money. Do you want to try and give it to him, or? Hmm. Should we open it and see what the note says? Don't, it Don't take it for ourselves or give it to Prince Lawrence here. Hmm. Just open it. Hush up. I'm trying to make a decision here. Silly goose. Big B. All right, fine. Let's open it and see what it says first. Then we'll give it to Prince Lawrence. I'm sorry, Faith. Aw. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Maybe for doing the job she did? 
That's the only thing I can think of. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Man, he's just a little bit of an angry off, isn't he? But at least we figure out the situation without having to get too rough and, you know, probably scaring people. No, we don't need to scare. Uh, see ya. Catch you later, little dude. That's a cool little dude. Little froggy roggy. And so they're safe for now. That's good. Hopefully Tweedledee or Tweedledum will come back and hurt them or whatnot. Ah, time for a nice smoke. Smoking a pancake. Does it always go that smoothly? Heh, <laughs> you know, baby. But alright, so, this will end this portion of Let's Play The Wolf Among Us, episode 3, part number 4. We will catch you on the next run. Until then, everybody, have a good week. Stay frosty. Oh, yeah.